Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einer kleinen Extra-Folge One Piece Unlimited Adventure mit dieser ganz komischen Zeichnung im Hintergrund. Egal. Auf Wunsch, äh, ja, eines Community-Mitglieds. Wahrscheinlich haben sich noch ein paar andere auch gewünscht. Und zwar Jack Lona hat es in den Kommentaren geschrieben. Äh, werde ich jetzt einfach mal alle Charaktere durchgehen und ihre Texte vorlesen. Das könnte eine Weile dauern. <lacht> Diese Folge kommt äh, anstatt der normalen One Piece-Folge. Ach gut, aber das sollte ich jetzt eigentlich nicht erwähnen. Fangen wir mit Monkey D. Luffy an. Und ich muss meine Mikroqualität kurz überprüfen. Aber es scheint okay zu sein. Okay. Luffy is the captain of the Straw Hats and has the power of the Gum Gum Fruit. He will do anything for his friends and aspires to become the Pirate King one day. Gear second. This special techni technique makes Luffy's leg pump and his blood flow faster. It pushes him to the utmost limits, consuming some of his life. But his rubber body lets him withstand the burden of using it. Tiny, oder auch Gear Third, causes Luffy, Luffy to grow to giant size by putting air into his bones, but afterwards causes Luffy to shrink. Until he returns to his normal size, his power is significantly reduced. Ah, mein Englisch ist nicht mehr ganz so das Wahre, was Aussprache angeht, aber ich hoffe, es ist okay. <lacht> was Lesen und Schreiben angeht, nicht immer noch ziemlich guten Englisch, aber Aussprache habe ich keine wirkliche Übung. Rodonoa Zoro. Zoro is a member of the Straw Hats and uses the three sword style. He is a highly disciplined, disciplined fighter and aspires to become the world's greatest swordsman above all else. Nami, a member of the Straw Hats and a genius navigator. Nami has managed to use her knowledge and meteorology as a weapon. She dreams of completing a map of the entire world. Usopp is a member of the Straw Hat crew and a liar with a great pride in his sniping skills. He is a surprisingly useful crew member and, a special, uh, and specialized in inventing things. He hopes to become a brave warrior of the sea, like his father. Yasop. Ne, doch, Yasop hieß er, glaube ich. Sogi King. Sogi King is a friend of Yasop and a superhero who has come to Luffy's rescue on occasion. He is the king of snipers from Sniper Island. Does anyone know who hides under that mask? I don't know, man. I don't know. Übrigens, da wir den Skin anhaben, ziehen, sehen auch die Charaktere anders aus. Das heißt, ja, man kann sich wohl denken, wer Sogi King ist. <lacht> Sanji. Sanji is a Straw Hats Cook, a chiv chivalrous, chivalrous fighter and a master of kicking. He is always on top of things and has saved the gang from danger more than once. He dreams of finding the All Blue, the All Blue, where fish from every sea gather. Ja, man muss ja schon sagen, Sanji ist immer der, der... Der Ritter in goldener Rüstung oder sowas. Also, er hat Luffy und die ganze Crew eigentlich schon so oft gerettet, einfach weil er einen Plan in der Hand hat. Das hat das eigentlich sonst so gut wie keiner der Gruppe. Tony Tony Chopper, Man Beast Form und hier auch mit Super Cape. Chopper Man. Chopper is the Strawheads Doctor and has the powers of the human human fruit. He is an innocent, childlike and curious reindeer. He dreams of finding a penis, a medicine that can cure any ill. Ich hoffe, ich habe es richtig ausgesprochen. Gleichzeitig ist es auch die Form von Brainpoint. Humanoid Form. This is Chopper's form when he uses the power of the human human fruit. His, muscle, his muscles bulge and his body becomes massive. His increased size means the damage he causes increased as well. Oder Beast Form. This is the form Chopper takes when he mostly returns to being a reindeer. He's much more nimble on four legs and often makes sport of his enemies. Sport? Er rennt wahrscheinlich weg, heißt das. Jumping Point. This is one of the former choppers. Forms choppers can take by using the Rumble Ball. His body becomes lighter, granting him exceptional jumping ability. Guard Point. This is one of forms chopper can take by using the Rumble Ball. His coat grows incredibly large, giving him a ball-shaped appearance and absorbing damage. Arm Point. His arms become far more muscular and his attack power increases. Horn point. This makes his horns much larger and more damaging. Rampaging Chopper. When Chopper takes three doses of the powerful medicine from the Rumble Ball, the power of the Devil Fruit causes him to go on rampage. He gains massive power at the cost of some of his life force. Also ähnlich wie Gear Second. Nico Robin. Bisschen näher wieder. So. Robin is a straw hat's archaeologist. Archaeologist. Okay, ich habe keine Ahnung, wie man es ausspricht. And has the power of the Hana Hana Fruit. She, she earned her doctorate degree at the age of 8 
and she's the most intelligent of the group. She's searching for the book of true history. Archaeologist? Hmm. Frankie is the Straw Hat's shipwright and a cyborg with metal body parts. He wants to build a ship of his dreams and go on a voyage with Luffy and the others. Smoker, jetzt kommen wir mal zu den Gegnern. Die Com Commodore Smoker is an officer from the Navy who has the powers of the plum plum fruit. He has pursued the Straw Hats since they escaped him in Lushtown. He's so strong in his convictions that he will disobey orders if he if he feels it is necessary. Ja, er hat eine eigene Art von Justice, so also Gerechtigkeit. Sehr interessanter Charakter. Gut, dass sie nicht Chaser genannt haben, weil es Englisch ist, <lacht> sondern Smoker, so wie es sich gehört. Dracul Mihawk. Dracul is one of the Shichibukai and the world's strongest swordsman. He wields the massive sword at his back with incredible destructive power. Destructive power. He has acknowledged Zoro as the great swordsman and awaits their rematch. Krieg. Don Krieg is the leader of the Pirate Armada. He has countless weapons throughout his body. The military might he is so proud of. He's a cruel man and will do anything, no matter how underhanded, to accomplish his goals. Kaku. Kaku is a member of the World Government Secret Intelligence Organ Organization, CP9. He has the power of the cow cow fruit model Kirin, also Giraffe. He uses the Rokushiki. Ne, Rokushiki. Ro Rokushiki. Shiki? Mm. Four sword style, wielding two swords in each hand. Rokushiki. Ja, so rum. Kaku, man beast form. Through the power of the devil fruit, Kaku can take on this man beast form. For some reason, his rectangular form is reflected here. <laughs> He can take advantage of, advantage of his Kirin form's reach to attack. To attack. Yeah, <laughs> that's what the end of the sentence. Span Dam. Span Dam is the overseer of CP9, the world's government secret intelligence agency. He has the power of the elephant elephant fruit and a sword called Funk Freed. He will do anything to advan advance his career. Naja, eigentlich hat sein Schwert die Frucht, nicht er. <lacht> Inner. Inner is the god of Skypiea and has the power of the Rumble Rumble Fruit. He uses this, this incredible power to control the people of the island he rules. He has ordered his subjects to build him a massive flying ship, the Maxime. Ein echt übler Kerl. Arlong. Arlong is the leader of the Arlong Pirates and an extremely powerful Saw Shark Merman. He aspired to conquer the Eastern Sea and start and start an Arlong Empire, crushing any humans who stood in this in his way. Ja, also um Arlong geht es ja später auch nochmal, vor allem um das Tattoo, was man da vorne sieht. Die Taiyo oder die Sonne. Tai, Taiyo. Ich weiß gerade nicht mehr, was die Mehrzahl und die Einzahl ist. Egal. Gibt es ja eigentlich nicht im Japanischen. Ne, gibt es keine Mehrzahl. Sir Crocodile. Crocodile is a former member of the Shichibukai and has the power of the sand sand fruit. He, elim he eliminates those who are not useful to him with without mercy. He is planning to obtain true military power by taking control of Alabaster. Was die mal alle mit military power haben? Immer nur Gewalt. Podcast the Ace. Ace is the commander of 2nd division of Whitebeard Pirates and has the power of the flare flare fruit. He is Luffy's bro brother, older by 3 years and plans to help Whitebeard become the pirate king. Yeah. Shanks. Shanks is the leader of the Red Hat Pirates and hopes to meet Luffy again one day. He's one of the four emperors who ruled a new world. He will risk his life for those he considers friends. Das ist wohl der ehrenwerteste. Ja, Whitebeard ist auch noch ganz okay, aber Shanks ist eigentlich noch ehrenwerter. <laughs> Rob Lushi. Lushi is a member of CP9, the World Government's Secret Intelligence Agency. He has the power of the Cat Cat Fruit model Leopard and uses the Rock Shiki style. He is regarded as the cruelest, most powerful weapon in, hi in the history of CP9. Oh yeah. Model Leopard. Rob Lushi can uses the power of the travel Devil Fruit to take on his human Leopard form. The influence of the Carnivorous animal makes him become a brutal fighter. He's the very embodiment of a predator that specializes in pursuing prey. Rob Lushi, Sketch Leopard. By using his rebirth technique, technique Luch Lushi can reduce his muscle mass while drastically increasing his speed. In this form, he becomes even more deadly, delivering lightning fast attacks. Ja, er hat auch schon gelernt, wie man die äh, Tierformen benutzt, so ähnlich wie Chopper mit seiner Medizin. 
Wobei er ja jetzt auch andere Formen annehmen kann in den neuen Folgen. Aokichi, Kusan. Aokichi is a Navy Admiral and has the power of the ice ice fruit, allowing him to become ice. He's one of the three regarded as the strongest in the world government. He's a relaxed guy and lazy justice is his motto. motto. Mr. Two, Bon Clay. Bon Clay is, is an agent of the secret criminal organization Barok Works. He has the power of the clone clone fruit and uses the Okama Kempo style. He is a surprisingly sentimental person but still a deadly assassin. Und ein sehr guter Freund von Luffy. <laughs> Kalgara. Kalgara is a warrior of the golden city of Shandia of far hundred years ago. He will fight to protect Shandia even though it's disappeared into the sky to his last breath. Ja. Vivi. Vivi is the queen of the kingdom of Alabasta who once took a voyage with the Straw Hats in order to keep her homeland from failing, nee, falling into chaos. She infiltrated the barrack works which she believed was responsible. Infiltrated. <laughs> so rum. Pauli. Paul is the master of the Galela Company Dock 1, and because of his extensive work with masts and rigging, rigging, he specializes in using ropes. He has a large quantity of ropes ready underneath his coat. This is echt komisch, eigentlich muss er total fett sein. Naja, da ist ein schöner Eins drauf. Whitebeard, Edward Newgate, the leader of the world famous Whitebeard Pirates, he is the one of the four emperors that ruled the route to the new world. He is also recognized as the only man Strong, as strong as the Pirate King, the strongest man in the world. Naja, wie schon gesagt, ich finde eigentlich, er hätte auch durchaus den Titel äh, Pirate King verdient, bis... Ja, ich möchte nicht spoilern. Ja. Evil Guardian. This is the Guardian Deity... Deity? Brought forth by the orbs. It is a reflection of the Islanders' hatred and rather than defending the island from intruders, it now seeks to destroy everything, everything that comes near. Evil Master Beast. This is the Evil Guardian's alternate form, brought forth after it is defeated once by the Strohats. The vengeful spirits cause it to rampage. It has lost all reason and thinks only of destroying all the enemies before it. Popora. A living creature brought to life by the creator of the seals. He has protected the island and its sealed for a thousand years, all the while dreaming of the day the island could become the paradise it was meant to be. Normal Navy. This is illusory Navy, brought forth by the islands reacting to the its memories. This one charges into the fight in close quarters with his sword. Drop items. Oh, geil! Da steht ja was für Items, die fallen lassen. Waste Iron Heal Powder. Cool. Agent. This is the illusory Navy agent, but yeah, blah, 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 blah. This one uses the rifle to attack from a distance. Gunpowder, Stamina Powder. Uh, this one uses a bazooka in supporting role. Gunpowder, stamina powder. Mm, he commands his troops while going onto the front lines himself. Scrap of cloak, mi mixed powder. He will sometimes launch a surprise attack from above. Nah, surprise. Nah. Waste iron, gunpowder. He holds a pistol in each hand and doesn't take time to aim. Medical plans, gunpowder. Uh, this one. This one is a highly trained hand-to-hand -hand fighter through NATO. His attacks will sometimes send his allies flying as well. Mysterious X, stamina drink. Its hatred manifests as this creature brought, brought forth along with the evil guardian. It, its hatred manifests in the form of a right arm shape, sharp, nee, shaped like a sword. Sharp sword. Shaped like a sharp sword. Sag das mal dreimal hintereinander. <laughs> Clay and wasted iron. Okay. It intends desire to reject outsiders manifest in its exceptionally powerful arms, which can send enemies flying. Clay and gunpowder. A Nazi? Okay. Scheiß Nazis. Uh, it has the ability to change into a spherical form to attack. A manifestation of a desire to not be harmed. Clay diamond fragment. Uh, it decides to prevent the island from being violated. Manifest in the ability to strike the crown, immobilizing its enemy. Clay Crystal. Green General. Uh, it is one of the Evil Guardian's stronger minions. It draws power from its opponent's memories and can read their attacks. Clay Steelstone. It is one of the. No, no, no. It can read special attacks from its opponent's memories. As soll das bedeuten? Clay an en enigmatic shell. It can read attacks that travel with the opponent from its enemy's memories. As Clay. Magnetic Stone. 
Okay. Die haben komische Fähigkeiten. Und das war's dann auch schon. Ach, das hat das schön gepasst in der 15-Minuten-Folge. Sehr cool. Falls ihr noch mehr Fragen habt, könnt ihr sie gerne in die Kommentare schreiben. Ähm, vielleicht wollt ihr auch noch eine Special-Episode, wo ich alle Filme nochmal durchgehe. Das wäre ein bisschen ja, lange relativ, aber ich würde es machen. Kein Problem. Ein Kommentar reicht da schon. Okay, ich würde sagen, das war's dann für diese Episode. Abonnieren, kommentieren, favorisieren. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Euer Headset Sniper.